एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ थर्ड ऑफ जुलाई द बिग बॉय एच डी एफ सी बैंक हिट एन ऑल टाइम हाई टूडे दिस इज अ बिग न्यूज बिकॉज एच डी एफ सी बैंक वॉज अ बिगेस्ट स्टॉक विच वॉज बीटन डाउन कंटिन्यूसली लास्ट वन ईयर फॉर नॉट डूइंग जस्टिस टू इन्वेस्टर्स एंड नॉट गोइंग एनी वेयर फॉर थ्री टू फोर ईयर्स बजाज फाइनेंस एंड बजाज फिंसर्व हैव अ को रिलेशन बजाज फाइनेंस इज द चाइल्ड एंड बजाज फिंसर्व इज द होल्डिंग कंपनी विद अबाउट फिफ्टी टू परसेंट ऑफ बजाज फाइनेंस होल्डिंग so all the child companies have to declare the results first then comes the parent same thing will happen for rec and pfc also rec will declare the results first this will happen even in case of jio jio financial and reliance now there are some symbols here this is the party which will be hosted by mr ambani the festivities will last 3 days starting 12th this event is of significant importance for india because lot of senior leaders senior businessmen across the globe will be in india to attend the festivities and there will be some business for sure so this is definitely one of the biggest events on the planet for the year the second event which is perhaps the biggest event in the it category for the planet for this year is related to hdfc bank hdfc bank will upgrade its core banking system on 13th and 14th this is a mammoth size project it takes nearly an year to plan for it i am not sure if they are just upgrading the servers or the software complete overall nevertheless for hdfc customers it's a big deal because performance of systems has been a problem now if you are a hdfc bank customer please be prepared for some issues between 12th to 15th approximately don't get upset if the systems are down core banking is a huge system it touches every element of the bank make sure all of your urgent needs for money are taken care outside this window if you have ever watched wwe you will know who this character is watch out for blue chip stocks that are underperformers i'll name one stock here which i bought today asian paints the underdogs or the underperformers will rise lot of money this month will go towards tax payouts people will be filing their returns anything that they have not submitted in advance tax that will be due to be submitted one heartbreak for many people would be they will know the exact fno pnl today was a blockbuster day nifty has had five good days continuously bank nifty was up 1.77% it was the bank nifty expiry first one for the month nifty it did not go anywhere today probably the performance of nifty it is reserved for tomorrow nifty energy was up a bit third consecutive day 0.17% nifty next 50 was up a lot more than 1% is a big number defense there was lot of buying 3.5% up as a sector today the indices were on fire they were kept in check however by reliance and tcs who were down hdfc bank actually corrected towards the end of the day look at the banks icici up 1% this gain is very small actually icici was up a lot earlier in the day sbi up 2% silver actually has been on a rally it was up 1.7% today up for last 5 days consecutively gold was also up 1% bitcoin has been falling a lot 3% down today also rupee became a bit stronger crude did not go anywhere in the us tesla has been on fire it was up 10% yesterday it's up another 3.3% in the pre opening fii's bought 5500 crores no point for guessing what they bought hdfc bank and icici bank dis however net sellers 1000 crores it persistent was up another 2% it is in the all time high zone now tcs was down a bit my guess is reliance will be up about half percent 1 percent and anchor the day and tcs will be up a lot tomorrow the volumes were not very high however energy sector the producers were all up and up a lot the oil companies actually did not go anywhere today oil india was up mrpl was up castrol was up another 13% Besides IOC, the volumes here also were pretty low. Reliance, for some reason, has been in fifty percent volume zone for three or four days now. Also, Reliance P is thirty right now. I would not say it is obscenely high because Reliance stands for not just oil but also telecom, where Airtel has a P of more than hundred ten. Geo Financial, Reliance Retail, and lot more. So, Reliance Industries needs to be viewed more like a holding company than a oil company. banks were on a tear today power finance was up 5.65% volumes were fantastic including the big boy hdfc bank more than 150% most public sector banks also were up a lot except indian bank aerospace and defense perhaps was a second best performing sector nearly everyone was up masgaon dock 8% more nearly every stock is at 52 week high market breadth was fantastic today compared to 16 yesterday 
27 sectors were in the green. Best performers were banking, aerospace, metal and mining, machinery, equipment and components. Most of these top performing sectors of the day were red yesterday. Software IT, oil and gas were pulling the indices down. Auto with an exception of Tata Motors was generally up today 0.3%. Here is Asian Paints which I was talking about earlier. LNT corrected a bit after the huge run up yesterday. Watch out for Adani Enterprises. It is an important stock in the indice and needs to move up. Food and tobacco, most stocks were up. Tata consumer was up 3.75%. Insurance was up a lot. Tata Technologies is consolidating around 1000, but that is a 52 week low nearly. Investment banking, another bad day. The top two players usually are green, but all the others are red. That's a trend I've seen for last few days. Siemens up, ABB up, Havels up 3.5%. The sector heavy machinery was up 1.5%. Metals were shining, Hindustan zinc led from the front 3% up. The steel pack was up considerably as well. The sector was up 1.5%. Pharma is seeing some interest. There was good buying there. Real estate up half percent. Telecom saw some buying. Bharti Airtel consolidated after the fall yesterday but Vodafone index tower were up nifty 12 stocks down 38 up wonderful performance of the index today the top two players were down nearly everyone after them were green not a high volume day HDFC bank was an exception next 50 similar numbers 12 stocks down 38 up all the big boys were up Bajaj Holdings was up most four and a half percent Hevels, BL, ICIC Lombard, Chola Mandalam, Varun Beverages, they were all up. What was down? Shri Cement, TVS Motor, Trent, Gale, SRF. Volumes were not high for Nifty, Next 50 also. All of the top stocks in this particular indice are in the 50 to 100% zone. My portfolio and trades, today was a big day for me for buying. There's a lot of portfolio shuffling I've been doing. Set in is mostly for trading for the results. So I added a bit more today. All the other positions I hope are for long run. I don't intend to sell them quickly. Most of these stocks I already had in my portfolio. I added a bit more. For example, Varun Beverages, Page Industry, Nestle, HDFC Bank. Asian Paints is a new entry. Fusion Microfinance, I had sold 50% of the quantity around election results. I bought again. HUL also I had earlier. I sold 20% of Mazgaon Dock in one of my portfolios today. It had 60 to 70 percent profit. Now I had bought this stock also for one year, two year kind of time zone. But when you see the graph literally vertical and you see the profit on the table like 60, 70 percent, you say, okay, let's take off a bit of the money and invest back once sane levels return to the market. That does not mean Mazgaon Dock will correct immediately. It may go up another 20, 30 percent, even 50 percent. I can't control that. My trading calendar, Mazgaon Dock was the only stock I sold in profit. So cash was green. Options was a mixed day. Let me brief you on that. Looking at the volatility, I was a little scared from last week's loss of 80,000 rupees on the expiry day. So I booked certain losses very early in the day when I thought that the market was changing direction. All the trades were right, but my patience was not high today. This particular position is for 11th of July expiry, not tomorrow. I will square it off in the morning. I expect the markets to open high. Now remaining four positions are something called short straddle. Let me show it to you. So tomorrow, if Nifty is in this inverted V range, I will be in profit. So basically this will be at 12,500 rupee profit tomorrow. I don't expect the Nifty to be at this peak for sure. If the Nifty opens very high or very low, then this will become a problem. But the maximum loss here is 8%, which is 10,000. Airtel I'm still carrying. There is one lot short. ICIC actually was in a profit of around 12,000. However, it reduced significantly towards the end of the day. And the profit also reduced. That is why I'm carrying a loss today. Otherwise, it would have been a profitable day. I expect TCS to be the leader tomorrow. So I have taken a long position in TCS. All these are theories I'm testing right now with live money. That is why there is only one lot. One thing which is emerging for me is I'll probably avoid Nifty and Bank Nifty besides very small positions on expiry days, which is Thursday and Friday. And I've been talking about uncanny patterns. You don't need me to explain these. Look at SBI's chart. Look at HDFC's chart. Nearly reverse. Reliance down, consolidated up. ICICA up, consolidated up a bit down ATL PCS see this V in HUL there's a reverse V in ITC around the same time so while it was bank nifty expiry bank nifty actually was in a very tight range this is nifty's chart for the day if you see the range is not very big so what happens is whether you are long or short that does not matter in this range if you have bought an option you are eaten up by decay. It is the last day or second last day of the expiry even if the trade is on your side you will lose 
most of your money. So best is to either sell the options with proper hedge or take positions like the straddle if you have a conviction and if you want to play the conviction. But make sure you are not carrying unlimited losses. Last few weeks I have talked about taking positions ahead of results and budgets. So I am done with 50% of my preparation probably. I will assess the amount of cash left and if there's any more juggling to do. I have still not bought railway stocks. So there's some more to go. Let's see. Now I'm taking a lot of risk here because markets can fall. We are at all time highs nearly every day, but I'm prepared to average lower if that is required. Most of these stocks are going in the long term portfolio Core portfolio stocks probably will not change unless the budget has some new surprises. Maybe if some themes are totally out of flavor with respect to the budget. So obviously I'll have to factor in. I'm sharing my experiences, but hope your list is also ready and you are also preparing yourself. Don't stay out. That's my opinion. Markets are due for a fall that to a large one. But there are too many reasons to keep the market up right now. So there is no point in missing out on the rally. The only point is you should be prepared for a fall. What will you do if the market falls say 5%, 10%, 20% or even more? So keep cash and the answer ready. But continue making money in the markets while the bulls are raging. For people who invest and not trade, the only way to make money is buy low, sell high. Have a fantastic remaining day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.